Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. For all things Vespa, parts and accessories, whether you're doing a standard tune-up, restoring an old Vespa, or you're looking for cool accessories for your new Vespa, we got you covered on the web, ScooterWest.com. All right, here's the common problem with the U.S. market, Primavera and Sprint turn signals. I have a lot of people like, oh, my turn signal's broken, I need a new one. Of course, we're happy to sell you a brand new turn signal, but the best solution, in my opinion, is to get rid of these silly things. Let me show you how that can be done on this Sprint Sport. For instance, you wanna install one of these windscreens, you're gonna to need to remove those pod turn signals. The pod turn signals do not work with any of the aftermarket windscreens for both the Sprint and the Primavera. Both those scooters are very, very similar. They just have a different handlebar design and some other styling cues. But let me show you our kit. First of all, MI200-PR is the kit for all four corners. So it removes all four of the pods and returns it to the same functionality that everybody else in the rest of the world has. So you got the turn signal up front along with the running light that's already with the scooter. And if you move to the back, you can see the pods have been removed. There's little caps that go over the two screw holes for that and it converts these extra lights in the turn signals. Another kit that we have that's even more deluxe, a deluxe version of this kit, includes the clear lenses with amber bulbs just like the European scooters. If you're looking for a less costly option just for the idea of installing a windscreen and removing just the front pods, you can get the MI200-PR-FRT. And just search these part numbers on our YouTube channel and you'll be able to find the full installation videos for any of these kits. So check out the install videos of those two light kits. Uh, maybe something for you, but let's get on to just fixing the top stock turn signal if that's what you're looking to do. So just the basic tools needed, you're gonna need a smaller number one Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you can see the turn cells hanging from the wire and on the back side is a single screw that holds the lens. The way these are sold is like a complete assembly, but whenever it separates from this rubber stock, I'll show you how the mechanism works here. So just remove the single screw and oftentimes it will just stay in there, even though you have it loose and then this, the screw will separate. I just pulled the, the lens, kind of tipped it forward and pulled it out. And also if you're gonna change a bulb, that's how you do that. So when you pull this out, you're gonna see a pair of wire terminals. Actually one's disconnected, which is pretty common. But you wanna pull the reflector out and then you can reseat the turn signal. Now that gives you a little more slack to reconnect this other short lead for the, um, the rear turn signal. And it's common that these rear ones, you bump them with your leg and they just fall right off the rubber stock. Very common, um, you can call it issue, but at least the turn signal doesn't break. So make sure both connections are on, the two different size connections. And see this fork right here? When you have the plastic pod seated all the way against the rubber stock, the fork engages with the rubber stock. So just push that back in, and now it's tight. Pop the lens back on, it kind of tips from the inside. Take your small screw here, and go from the back side. And don't over tighten it, because it is a plastic screw. So now that's fixed. So that's how you handle a quote unquote broken turn cell. It's not really broken, it's just separated from the rubber stock. Uh, but better yet, just buy one of our kits. Uh, maybe a little bit of a challenge to install if you're not too handy with the tools. You may be able to find a shop to install one of those uh, European light kits. They definitely look cool. The only reason they add these things is just to move them out like an extra inch and a half. Uh, supposedly to meet the U.S. standards, which have a width of where the turn signals need to be when they import the scooter. Till next time, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to our channel. Check out all the other videos pertaining to the Sprint, Primavera, GTS, and all the different vintage Vespas and more.
robot here. Ride safe.